Hey, what's up, everyone? How you doing? It's me, Mr. 4K Upscaler. So, uh, what's it like playing a PC game, connecting your laptop or your desktop to your Bowmaker Parrot 1 projector? Well, projectors are always being used with uh, computers, with laptops, uh, for the business, portfolio uh, purposes, and stuff like that. But with uh, Bowmaker Parrot 1, you can actually use it for gaming, movies, entertainment, portfolio businesses. I mean, for $200, you really are getting a, a great deal here. This is a 1080p native, so are getting a 1080p native uh, resolution here. I'm using a 148 inch. I scaled my uh, screen. I moved my projector a little bit further to like nine feet away, nine and a half feet away from the wall so it's uh, 140 the last let me check I wrote it down uh, 146 uh, diagonal 146 inches 146 inches uh, it's pretty good for gaming honestly for a small room that's more than enough uh, if you haven't seen 146 inch in person uh, the size of the screen then you'll be blown away just how big it is all right, so let's do some gaming here. We got the Overwatch. I got my mouse and keyboard that I'm using. I just prefer mouse and keyboard. You know, that's just the way I prefer it. So let's go ahead. Let's play a little bit. This video is going to be recorded in HDR, high dynamic range, in case you guys are wondering. We'll do a quick play. Uh, click ready, uh, two minutes, and uh, let's go. I highly recommend, uh, there's two projectors that I can highly recommend, like without any hesitation. That's this one, Bowmaker, Parrot 1, and uh, Vankio V630 Performance uh, Projector. So V630 from Vankio and Bowmaker Parrot 1, uh, you're not going to go wrong. If you want something cheaper, for like $170... There is a uh, another projector called Humpow for $170. Uh, that's that's a, that's another great deal. Uh, so those three I would easily recommend. Vivi Bright, I don't know, guys. I haven't tested Vivi Bright, uh, but uh, what I don't like about Vivi Bright is the fact that there is a uh, only one HDMI input. There's only one HDMI input, and I don't like the fact that there's only one HDMI input. So that right there, I think you're paying the same amount of price that you are paying for Bowmaker and Hampow and Vankio V630, but you, uh, you, you're only getting a one HDMI input, which really kind of sucks, you know. With uh, Bowmaker and Vankio, you get two HDMIs. So to me, that is a big deal because why should I pay you $200 when for the same price I can get Vankio V630 or Bowmaker Parrot 1 and have two HDMIs not to mention that it comes with a uh, SD memory card slot alright so we're gonna do a practice range because uh, I've been having problems getting into the servers so uh, let's just go ahead and uh, jump into a practice range here and let's continue oh that's great that's a good that's a good way to start As you can see, it smooth as it can be, uh, no latency, but that's because I'm using a mouse and keyboard. I have connected this directly to my laptop, so there shouldn't be any issues with the latency or input lag. Uh, clearly, you can game on this projector easily, no problems, uh, runs great. Now, what's the quality? You know, a, a lot of people are asking me about the quality. Now, the focus uh, has to be a little bit 
adjusted you know the focus on this uh, projector it's desired to be worked around so you have to kind of tweak it a little bit you have to uh, tweak the, uh, the keystone and the focus to get that nice sharp uh, niche of image but overall it's it's good and again remember you're playing this on a hundred and forty six inch uh, you playing your favorite game on a big giant screen and uh, remember that's the caveat here that's that's what you really are paying to have that experience and it looks nice looks great In terms of uh, color, like I said, guys, don't expect the color here to be like, uh, you're not gonna be blown away by the color accuracy here. The color accuracy here, it's okay. It's not the greatest, it's not the worst, but it's okay. You know, it'll get the job done. Remember, you know, you're not buying this so much. You're not buying this so much for, uh, color detail or, or that picture perfect vivid detail that's why you have a BenQ HD 3550 that's why you have these high-end projectors that's what they do okay but for for the money that you're paying remember you get what you pay for the amount of money that you're paying here it's a pretty good deal and I even have my lights turned on uh, my lights in the back my lights here in the bathroom on the other side and uh, seems to be working just fine can't complain here we go we're now inside the match there's a bit of a tear down, but we can fix that. We need to turn our um, V-Sync on. Let's go to the uh, V-Sync over here. Let's turn it on. Uh, pa -pa 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 -pa. Where's the V-Sync? We gotta turn that on. There it is. Click apply. There. As you can see, no issues, runs great. And I purposely have turned the lights on uh, for that reason, just to uh, show you how bright this projector is, even with all the lights. Uh, well, majority of the lights behind me, they're turned on. I have like a bunch of lights behind me, guys. It's not total darkness in this room. And uh, as you can see, it runs good. Alright, let's try another game. Let's try uh, World of Warcraft really quick. Alright, so I have turned off all the lights. Uh, as you can see, now it looks much, much better. Remember, projectors are really... Projectors are really meant to be in a very dark, dark room. And that's how you should... Uh, that's how you should have your projectors. They should be in a very dark, dark room. Projectors are really not meant to be outside. They're not meant to be in a very lit up room. Even though they have those, if you need to use it for portfolios. But they're really meant to be like in a, in a dark room. Uh, so, it, you know, 
for those of you who don't understand the whole concept of a projector, it's really intended for you to be using it in a very uh, dark, dark, isolated room. And here we are, you know, no problems. You know, I can play World of Warcraft, you know, it runs great. Zoom in, zoom out. I don't see any issues with latency. I don't know, it's just, uh, here's the thing, guys. Playing on a big screen is just like, it's a more immersive experience, you know what I mean? And I think this is why maybe you might want to think about buying a projector, because they are cheap. They're, they're, they're not super expensive. I think uh, anyone should be able to afford one. I don't think, if you ever dreamt about, you know, when you're coming from a movie theater, if you ever dreamt about like, hey, man, what it would be like if I could have... Uh, that kind of same movie experience at home for like a very affordable price. Well, you can do that now. You you have that ability to do that. And um, here you are. I mean, you know, it, it's good. This is $200. Uh, and you playing the games from your PC, from your console, watching DVD, Blu-rays, 4K Blu-ray movies. Uh, you can watch your... Uh, Apple TV, Roku, whatever the hell you have, you know, you can use it, plug it in, watch it from the SD memory card, from a USB hard drive, uh, external hard drive, if you got movies loaded up, or whatever you have, I mean, you got everything, they even include VGA, dude, like, if you got something that needs VGA, they also include the uh, composite cables as well, so you pretty much are all set. You can plug in whatever you want to plug in into this thing and uh, enjoy your content. Uh, I really have nothing bad to say about the Bowmaker Parrot 1. It works great, runs great, no issues, no problems. Like I said, color accuracy, it's okay. It's not the greatest, but it's not the worst. But then you have to remember, you get what you pay for, okay? You can't expect him to put some DLP, RGB, RGB color wheel, all right, or some pixel shifter to upscale. If they did that, then it would be five, six hundred dollars, maybe even more, all right. So you got to remember, you get what you pay for, guys. Um, but overall, this is really, this is 146 inch, 146 inch. It's huge. Okay, that's what she said. Now imagine how big 200 inch is. And then try to imagine how big 300 inches is. All right. And and the whole point here is you are getting a great, great uh, immersive big screen experience. Your 55 inch, 65 inch, even your 75 inch, even your 80 inch TV is not going to give you that immersion the way the projector is going to give you. That's the wow factor. That's the big deal about a projector. People say, well, what's the big deal about a projector? It's that cinema experience, that big screen cinema experience. That's what it's all about. Okay? All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow we'll be doing a um, Fight Night Champion live stream, but i also going to have some videos tonight regarding a uh, Google Stadia playing on my iPhone. Not on my iPhone, on my Samsung Note 10 Plus. Remember, Google Stadia, it's available on your uh, Android phones and your Android tablets. I have tried it. It works with the Xbox controller, and it works really well. Okay? But I'll talk about that on the video. Have a good one, guys. Take care. Enjoy. Cheers.